purchases are easy, right? Like socks or breakfast cereal. Right, just pick the one with the toy. But for some categories of products, manufacturers purposely junk up the descriptions with jargon to confuse the customer and give the advantage to the salesperson. Yeah, like with beds, how many kinds of foam can there possibly be? Preach. How to cut through the sales pitch to find your perfect mattress is our featured story at the top of the list. We spend about one third of our life in bed. So that means your mattress is pretty important. We really focus on improving quality of life through the power of sleep. And that's why we turn to Sean Martins, Vice President of Majestic Beds, to learn the questions you need to ask in order to pick the mattress that will make your life better. The first question to ask, what's it made of? Higher density materials are always best. There's countless studies that have been done on certain densities that properly support the spine. And Sean says that means you have to be careful buying into the bed in a box trend because they are using cheaper, lower density materials. And they actually cost more for the shipping in the boxes than the actual materials themselves. And the issue that arises from it is the materials are so light when they're compressed, they'll lose up to 40% of its durability. So when you get a match it's already beginning to break down. The next question is crucial. Is it really comfortable? And that might mean doing an at-home trial because there are tricks that stores will use to make a bed feel better in store than it will at home. Your lower density memory foam is impacted by temperature. If it's a colder showroom, that foam will actually be firmer. So what stores will do is they'll put a heated blanket or a heated pad underneath that mattress to help soften up the mattress. So bring that bed home, but if it doesn't feel right within a certain period, then it's time to call it quits. If you have been on the mattress for a month and it's not working out for you, get rid of it. It's not going to get better. The next question to ask, is it supportive? Another myth is firmer the mattress, the more support it is. It's a sales tactic that companies will use, and this is also why a lot of companies charge more for their firm mattresses, because majority of the industry, about 33% of Americans experience back pain while laying on their current mattress. Everyone's support level is different, so you have to understand your body before you can pick the best bed. Which leads us to the final question. Does it regulate your temperature? Just as firmness and support are two different things, cooling and temperature regulating are two different things, but are often intertwined with each other. Cooling, for example, pulls heat from the body. And many mattresses use a thin gel layer or cooling cover that will cause you to toss and turn during the night. While temperature regulating is a neutral surface that absorbs excess body, so it doesn't pull the heat from the body, and then it disperses it throughout the sleep surface. For example, we use a patented technology called ErgoGel. It's been used in studies to show it absorbs up to 17 degrees more excess body heat than foam and will work all night long because it's a neutral surface. Don't be afraid to ask the hard questions and figure out what mattress is a match for you, helping you hit the hay at the top of the list.